Alright, we've made it to the top floor. And I'm now in the Chinese Currency Gallery. And I know these videos might be a little bit painful to watch because I don't have a script and I'm not rehearsed. So it doesn't make for good television. <coughs> but again, I'll give you a quick walk around, excuse me, uh, while I repeat what I'm hearing. China was one of the first places in the world to use money. During the late Neolithic period, cowrie shells were strung together as a form of currency. The brightly colored porcelain-like shells were impossible to forge in the days before plastic. When supplies of genuine shells ran short, replicants were made with wood, bone, and precious stones such as jade. Domestic animals Balls of silk and other things were also used as medium of, of exchange during China's history. The importance of the shells can still be detected in their written language, in which numerous characters containing the word shell in their name denote their value, whether monetary, physical, or even moral sense. Bronze ingots and replicas of tools were adopted as currency during the Shang and Zhou dynasties and during the well-developed economy of the Warring States period, cast metal coins became widely used. The square hold coin became the official national currency after China was unified by the state of Qin in 221 BC, and remained the basic design of Chinese coins for the following two millennia until the late 19th century when machine-minted silver dollars and copper dollars gradually replaced these cast metal coins. Since the 11th century, when China issued the first printed money in the world, coins and paper notes circulated independently, um, except in their economy, except at the end of the Qing Dynasty. There are examples of currency from uh, 4,000 years of history, as well as foreign currency that circulated in China and along the Silk Road. I, I try to keep up with him. I'm sorry if uh, if it's a little bit slurred. I'm trying, but yeah, I mean that's basically. I mean they all look like this. They're all pretty much the same, and they're, the captions are not in English in this room. But yeah, so interesting. If you guys didn't know that, I mean China is basically the first in everything, and so if you didn't know, China was the first in money. Um, both actual money and printed money because they were the first to invent printing. So that's, um, there's an interesting fact for you if you didn't know. China had the first money and they've had a lot of it as I can see. Oh, here's something a little bit interesting. Here's some, uh, some of the paper currencies. They, um, a lot of these, you see up here, this one says the Chartered Bank of India, Australia, and China. Because there were many countries and many banks that came in and kind of took over China. So it says Shanghai and uh, Hong Kong Banking Corporation. There were many, many of these international banks that came and issued their own currency, which of course caused problems. If anyone knows about um, America's own currency, uh, you should, if you don't know, you should research it. It's really interesting how we moved into having one kind of currency um, from thousands and thousands of different kinds of local currency. But, yes, that's, uh, that's basically it. I think we have one last room to go to, so the Jade Room. I'll see you there.